Are you seriously videoing me doing this right now? Yes. We didn't have any bailing twine, but I usually carry plenty of zip ties, so hopefully this will work. Hi, my name is Jake Vossenkemper, Director of Agronomy and Research here at Liquor Grow. Hi, I'm Katie Hess, Director of Sales and Marketing here at Liquor Grow. And Jake, we got to be fast today because... It's rather warm. <clears throat> it's hot. I think it's humid more than anything, but yes. It's, yeah. It's, it's intense today. It's very right. Midwestern out here. So, Katie, right now, the general rumblings are we're going to have some good corn yields. And I concur. I think, in general, we're going to have some fantastic corn yields, particularly if you were able to keep the nitrogen deficiency at bay. Sure. So, there's a lot of people talking about kernel counts. You know, we're going to have oh, yes. 300, the crop 350. tours will start. Yes, absolutely. So I thought it was a good time of year to talk about, you know, when can you reliably know when you're no longer going to have kernel abortion? Because if you're going to have kernel abortion, you can't accurately count count seeds and estimate yield based on seeds per year, right? How accurate is that um, counting kernels in I, I think general? If, I think if you do a good job and you get out in your field and you, you pull many years in several places, you can get reasonably close within 10, sure. 15 bushel. But you got to do a good job. That's the thing, right? So I'm going to talk about some corn growth stages. And before I talk about those stages, I want to remind people what those are and kind of the terminology used for those stages. Okay, so we've got R1, which is silking. All right, we've got blister, which is R2, or sometimes it's referred to as the uh, brown silk stage. We've got R3, which is the milk stage. We've got R4, which is the dough stage. We've got R5, which is the dense stage. And then finally, we've got R6, and that's physiological maturity, or sometimes referred to as black, black layer. layer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. When you say it like that, Jake, I feel like we should be washing combines and get ready to go. Like it's going to be here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be here before you know it. Now I'm going to talk about when can you expect kernel abortion to no longer happen in June. Okay. okay. So by R4, which is the dough stage, we would expect very little, a very small to no chance of kernel abortion happening after the R4 stage, which is dough stage. And we're not there yet. Well, this 106th day is just about there. And, and R4 happens roughly 30 days after tasseling. Okay. Okay. So this, this, um, so get your combines out and get start servicing them. This 106 day is just reaching the dough stage. And and, and, the, and the, the way you tell if it's, it's the dough or the milk stage, and honest to God, you taste it. Yeah. I'm, I'm dead serious. Just like sweet corn. So this is kind of doughy, not very sweet, but this 116 day is still very sweet. So we know that this corn is still in the milk stage. This one is just entering the dough stage. So we would not expect any kernel abortion whatsoever on this ear, but this ear could still potentially have some kernel abortion, particularly these kernels here toward the tip of the ear, okay? So I also wanna make reference to just how important the weather is, and we've had good weather, okay? But I looked up a University of Minnesota study, and you know, there's lots of things that can cause kernel abortion, but even temperature, even hot temperatures can cause kernel abortion. What they found is that if you're exposed to four days of 95 degree temperatures, you could have as much as 15% kernel abortion. Now that was four days after pollination. Okay. Right? So that pretty susceptible stage, right? Eight days at 95 plus degree temperatures, you could expect up to 60% kernel abortion. Now that was right after pollination. And we're past that in Way some places. Way past that, yeah. yes. And as you get closer to dough, you decrease the chances that you'll have any further kernel abortion. So if you're already to brown silk, are you past that stage? If you're at brown silk, you're you're still pretty susceptible okay. to kernel to kernel abortion. Because okay. you know we'll get that question. Yes. If you're if you're at brown silk, you're still reasonably susceptible. By the time you get to R four, the chances of kernel abortion have almost disappeared. And so 106 is right about there. You got a 116. It's quite a ways from there. So. We're nearing the point where we don't have to be concerned, but I think it's a little bit early to start counting kernels. Okay, so if you are going to be counting kernels, is that in state fair time, probably? Is oh, that... for sure. Yeah, yeah. I would say here in the next couple weeks, you know, even this will be at dough stage. Okay. Anything more on counting kernels? That's probably about enough if it's hot out, Katie. It's super hot. 
Thank you. Have a great day and hope you stay cool. Stay in the know with Liquid Grow.